will be the fairest? Who will be the most brilliant for 1995? Can Port Adelaide's Robbie West pull enough votes? What about the redhead, Glenn Kilpatrick from West Adelaide? Or from the parade, Matthew Primus? Glenelg's Phil McGuinness? Central District's own Stephen Schwert? Or can Gary McIntosh make history and be the first ever Norwood player to win it two years in a row? The Gary Medal, 1995. Welcome to the Convention Centre at Football Park for the 90th presentation of the McGarry Medal, named after William Ashley McGarry. What a great season for the SANFL. The crowds are up. We've seen some exciting young players coming into the sides. We've seen some great experienced players coming in from over the borders as well. One player, of course, only one player can be judged the fairest and most brilliant player for this year, and that's what we're here for tonight, to find out. You probably got your tip. Um, everyone in South Australia has. I'm hoping, along with lots of others, that uh, last year's winner can go the double, make it two in a row. And indeed, here he is with the 1981 McGarry medalist, Michael Aish. Please welcome from Nord, Gary McIntosh. Thanks, Pete. Having won a medal, Gary, does the player have to work harder the following season to be recognised as much? Yeah, I don't know um, about uh, playing to look for recognition, really. I think. Um when you, you do your pre-season and all your training, you, uh, you just get ready to uh, set yourself for another year and uh, do what you have to do to, you know, make you put up a good performance every week. Your thoughts on your chances of winning another one? Oh, no, I think um, this year she's uh, been pretty well shared, shared around out there. Um, the big fella, Matty, and uh, Dale's had a pretty good year as well, but, uh, you know, uh, most of the lads out this year have uh, been uh, great con contributors. Now you mentioned Matthew Primus and Dale Fleming. Apart from any other Nord players, who's your tip for tonight? Yeah, we only get to see them a couple of times a year, but um, we played uh, Westies a couple of times and Glenn uh, Kilpatrick was uh, very good. And uh, I suppose uh, Robbie West uh, from Ports uh, done pretty well as well. Now just quickly, 308th game this week for Nord, a club record. Anything I can do to put you on the injured list for the next five years? They told me you were coming back next year. Just a chance. Good luck. Thanks, Keith. Well, thanks, Gary and Michael. There have only been five players, actually, who have won it two years in a row. Mackenzie and McGregor, and then after the war, Hank and Phillips. And, of course, you've got to go back to Dan Moriarty, who won it in 1919, 1920 and 1921. So here now, Stephen Trigg and David Mackay to tell us what the competition is for Macca. Yes, thank you very much, Keith, and good evening, everyone. Well, we seem to have installed three favourites so far, Gary McIntosh, maybe Glenn Kilpatrick and Robbie West, but David Mackay, I don't know. Macca doesn't fancy himself, but I think he's a fair chance. Well, last time he was here, he was on crutches, wasn't he? But uh, he's got to be a chance for back-to-backs, that's for sure. And what about Glenn Kilpatrick? Tremendous first half of the year, particularly. We picked up a lot of possessions, didn't he? Uh, Average 25 possessions per game. It was outstanding. I just wonder whether the umpires knew him early in the year and whether he'll pick up quite enough votes early. Now, David, what about someone like Robbie West, the value of a Sandover medal? Uh, the umpires obviously do notice him. Well, he's a proven vote-getter in WA. It's a matter of whether the South Australian umpires rate him. He has got that long flowing hair. He's got explosive pace out of the centre, and I'm sure he's going to pick up a lot of votes. And I think he liked the comment about the long flowing hair as well. Matthew Primus is a little bit of a problem, I think, for Gary McIntosh, because he will take some votes. But David, Central District, 16 wins, they should get a fair number of votes. Well, I like uh, Stephen Schwert as well. He's my dark horse for the medal. I think he's picked up a lot of possessions. And spectacular, hard-running player. And I also like Jimmy Wine. He's another outsider that must be considered. Yes, some late mile for him. And also for Philip McGuinness, what do you think about Philip? Well, he's picked up uh, more kicks than any other player in the competition, right under the umpire's nose. He's short a pole. Uh, I think uh, that's for certain. But then again, it's all up to the umpires. It certainly is up to the umpires. And there's three of them out there every week, so they're half a chance to get it right, Keith. <laughs> Thanks, Stephen. Yes, <laughs> it is up to the umpires, of course. So we have sent the umpire's friend, one Mr Aish, to find out just how they work out the votes. Well, here's the uh, McGarry medal voting slip. Down here we have the best player, his number on club, the second best, the third best, and then all three umpires at the bottom sign it. What do the umpires look for when they cast the votes? Is it the guy that takes the high marks, kicks the goals, or is it the nuggety player that's on the bottom of the pack to get the balls out? Oh, I'd say it's really all of, all of what you just said then, actually. It's usually the top three or four or five players from each team usually stand out. 
far above the rest of them. A bloke like Gary McIntosh, with his track record, what did he do to win the medal? Did he take you blokes out to dinner all year? <laughs> Actually, believe it or not, Gary's probably one of the, the easiest blokes to uh, get on with. The, he's, uh, he calls you by your Christian name and you talk and you throw one at him and he throws one back at you. It's, it's great stuff out there. If a player's played an absolute blinder but given you a serve throughout the game, do you have any hesitations in giving him the first best? If he has played a blinder, we have to take the, uh, the fairness or the fairest side of it into consideration. Have you ever had a heated discussion on who should get the first vote? Never with three people we can never agree as to who's got the first vote straight away. It always takes a fair bit of discussion, sometimes up to 15, 20 minutes, as to who is the best player on the day. So the bottom line is at the end you just toss that coin, heads or tails? hope it comes up the right side. <laughs> Why was it that a champion like me only won it once? Quite a simple, Aishi. Too old, too slow and too bald. Well, a bit of revenge at last from the umpires against you, Michael. And you're not that bald. Not yet. But now, who received those votes from the umpires? It's my pleasure to introduce to you the South Australian National Football League Executive Commissioner, Mr Lee Wicker. Thank you, Keith, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And welcome to our viewing audience throughout South Australia. Tonight's McGarry Medal Count is a, a prestigious event for the South Australian National Football League and Keith, we look forward to an exciting count. Thanks Lee, and with uh, Lee of course is the President of the SANFL, Mr Max Bashir. Evening Max. Thank you Keith. Um, welcome to everyone. I hope that you'll enjoy the count tonight. I must remind you that uh, a player who's been found guilty of a breach of the laws of the game is not eligible to win the medal. Earlier this evening, uh, the envelopes containing the voting slips were checked and they've been arranged in order of the official league program so that the games and votes will be called round by round. The first vote called in each match will be the third preference vote, which carries uh, one vote, followed by the second preference vote, and the first preference vote. Thanks very much. Mr Bashir will begin the official count in just a moment, but first, uh, Neville Roberts, it has been a tough year to make the final five. Yeah, there's no doubt about that, Keith. It's been uh, a wholesome battle. Uh, Central, Nord and Port were set pretty early. North were in the barriers next at uh, poor old West Adelaide. They left it to the last game uh, and they suffered the nerves at the expense of South. Well, this weekend, terrific games coming up, of course, at North Adelaide, the latecomers, as you said, uh, against Norwood, just off the top of the minor premiership. Port Adelaide in the same boat, they come against the minor premiers, Central District. So plenty of live action in the finals this weekend on ABC. Yes, poor old West Adelaide out of the race, uh, probably played their finals uh, prior to the start of it. Uh, second round finals, we'll get a grand finalist out of the uh, second semi and uh, there'll be a redundancy. Maybe it'll be the Red, Le the red Legs. I think they're uh, a bit bewildered about their form at the moment. And uh, I have to say to you, Keith, uh, it's, hard, it's hard coming from me, but uh, my money's on the Magpies at the moment. Whatever happens, all the action will be on the ABC Live. And it all started live on the ABC back in March this year. The Milk started the season strongly with a 92-point thumping at the expense of reigning Premier's Port Adelaide. But the Tigers could only manage one more win in rounds one to five. Port made up for their loss by winning the rest of their games. Central District burst out of the blocks in blistering form, winning their first four games. The Red Legs had a patchy start, but still notched up three wins for the rounds. South was similar, also scoring three victories. Last year's grand finalists, the Eagles, started the year with a win, but could only manage one more victory in round four when they beat struggling Sturt. The Double Blues went winless, whilst North only went one better. West had two wins, and at the end of the round, the latter was Central, South, Port Norwood and West in the five, and outside were Glenelg, the Eagles, North and Sturt. Here's Max Bashir with the votes for rounds one to five. Round one, Port Adelaide versus Glenelg. Glenelg, Dean Caldo, one vote. Glenelg, Nick Chigwidden, two votes. Glenelg, Philip McGuinness, three votes. Eagles versus North Adelaide. North Adelaide, Scott Bamford, one vote. North Adelaide, Daniel Grantham, two votes. And North Adelaide, Tim Perkins, three votes. Central District versus Norwood. Central District, Stephen Squirt, one vote. Central District, John Cassidy, two votes. 
and Norwood, Justin Miller, three votes. West Adelaide versus Sturt, West Adelaide, Glenn Kilpatrick, one vote. West Adelaide, Scott Simister, two votes. And West Adelaide, Kieran Spawn, three votes. Round two, South Adelaide versus Sturt. South Adelaide, Danny Del Rey, one vote. South Adelaide, Gary Cameron, two votes. And South Adelaide, Andrew Osborne, three votes. Norwood versus the Nurg. Norwood, Gary Smallridge, one vote. Norwood, Gary McIntosh, two votes. And Norwood, Stephen Rowe, three votes. North Adelaide versus Port Adelaide. Port Adelaide, Stephen Williams, one vote. Port Adelaide, Brian Leeds, two votes. And Port Adelaide, Damien Ango, three votes. Eagles versus Central District. Central District, Jim Wine, one vote. Central District, Grant Coffey, two votes. And Central District, Anthony Ingerson, three votes. In round three, Ganilg versus Eagles. Ganilg, Paul Rouvray, one vote. Ganilg, James West, two votes. Ganilg, Grant Rubinek, three votes. Port Adelaide versus Norwood. Port Adelaide, Darren Mead, one vote. Port Adelaide, Brian Lees, two votes. And Port Adelaide, Stephen Carter, three votes. West Adelaide versus South Adelaide. South Adelaide, David Stokel, one vote. West Adelaide, Dean Woosnam, two votes. And West Adelaide, Glenn Kilpatrick, three votes. North Adelaide versus Central District. North Adelaide, Matthew Collins, one vote. Central District, Roger Gurdham, two votes. And Central District, Jim Wine, three votes. In round four, Norwood versus West Adelaide. Norwood, Todd Davey, one vote. Norwood, Gary Smallridge, two votes. And Norwood, Gary McIntosh, three votes. South Adelaide versus North Adelaide. South Adelaide, Kent Jackson, one vote. North Adelaide, Brett Mancini, two votes. And South Adelaide, John Polkinghorn, three votes. Central District versus the Nurg. The Nurg, Rowan War, one vote. Central District, Anthony Anderson, two votes. Central District, Stephen Schwert, three votes. Eagles versus Sturt. Sturt, John Richter, one vote. Eagles, Greg Walker, two votes. And Eagles, Jason Ziller, three votes. In round five, Port Adelaide versus Central District. Port Adelaide, Troy Olsen, one vote. Port Adelaide, Tim Ginever, two votes. And Port Adelaide, Robert West, three votes. South Adelaide versus Eagles. South Adelaide, Danny Del Rey, one vote. South Adelaide, Darren Trevina, two votes. And South Adelaide, Jamie Lamb, three votes. North Adelaide versus West Adelaide. North Adelaide, Tim Perkins, one vote. North Adelaide, Wayne Rosenboom, two votes. And North Adelaide, Tim Noonan, three votes. Sturt versus Norwood. Norwood, Rodney Maynard, one vote. Sturt, Damien Oakes, two votes. And Norwood, David Pittman, three votes. And that concludes round five.
Well, let's have a look at the leaderboard after just five rounds. Bit early yet, but uh, some of the players favoured to be in the final counter there. Uh, Ingerson and Schwartz sharing it though, taking votes off each other perhaps. McIntosh for Nord is up there. Kilpatrick from West Adelaide and, West Adelaide and another Central Districts player in Wind. Well, uh, it is a bit early for the players to get the collie wobbles, of course. It's all up in the air. And so are some of the great marks for 1995. Some great exponents. Andrew Pace finishing off some fantastic marks. One of the great features of our game, of course. Well, now let's have a look at the votes for round six to ten. But before we do, let's remind ourselves what happened in those games. Round six to ten saw the Magpies in blistering form, winning all five games. The Doggies were still barking with two wins and a draw against West. And the Bloods picked up the same result, two wins and a draw. Glenelg picked up form, winning three on the trot. Then they fell against Port and North. Someone must have switched the breakfast cereals at Prospect because North Adelaide won every game they played in these rounds. The Eagles continued their doldrums, losing all that they played. Sturt went winless, two victories to Norwood, and just the one win to South. And the latter after round 10 was the five, Port, Central, Glenelg, North and Norwood, with the back of the pack led by West, then South, Eagles and Sturt. Now it's back to Max for the votes for round six to 10. Round six, Norwood versus South Adelaide. South Adelaide, Greg Byrne, one vote. South Adelaide, Gary Cameron, two votes. Norwood, Stephen Rowe, three votes. Glenelg versus West Adelaide. Glenelg, Philip McGuinness, one vote. Glenelg, Dean Bailey, two votes. West Adelaide, Brooke Fogden, three votes. Eagles versus Port Adelaide. Port Adelaide, Paul Northeast, one vote. Port Adelaide, Tim Ginova, two votes. And Port Adelaide, Tony Malakellis, three votes. Sturt versus North Adelaide. North Adelaide, Nigel Allen, one vote. Sturt, Seb Packer, two votes. And North Adelaide, Brody Atkinson, three votes. In round seven, Glenelg versus Sturt, Glenelg, Mark Visca, one vote. Glenelg, Dean Bailey, two votes. And Glenelg, Matthew Liptak, three votes. Norwood versus Eagles. Norwood, James Tyson, one vote. Norwood, Stephen Rowe, two votes. And Norwood, Gary McIntosh, three votes. Port Adelaide versus South Adelaide. South Adelaide, Tim Powell, one vote. Port Adelaide, Paul Northeast, two votes, and Port Adelaide, Troy Olsen, three votes. West Adelaide versus Central District. Central District, Stephen Swert, one vote. West Adelaide, Glenn Kilpatrick, two votes. West Adelaide, Brooke Fogden, three votes. In round eight, Port Adelaide versus West Adelaide. Port Adelaide, Paul Northeast, one vote. Port Adelaide, Clive Waterhouse, two votes. And Port Adelaide, Darren Mead, three votes. North Adelaide versus Norwood. North Adelaide, Wayne Rosenboom, one vote. North Adelaide, Brendan Parker, two votes. And North Adelaide, Tim Noonan, three votes. 
Central District versus Sturt. Central District, Scott Norton, one vote. Sturt, John Richter, two votes. And Central District, Simon Lures, three votes. South Adelaide versus Glenelg. Glenelg, Paul Hamilton, one vote. Glenelg, Grant Rubenick, two votes. And Glenelg, Simon Ango, three votes. In round nine, Port Adelaide versus Sturt. Port Adelaide, Robert West, one vote. Port Adelaide, Darrell Borlace, two votes. And Port Adelaide, Damien Ryan, three votes. Central District versus South Adelaide. Central District, Michael Wakelin, one vote. Central District, Ricky McGowan, two votes. And Central District, Jim Wine, three votes. Glenelg versus North Adelaide. Glenelg, Dean Bailey, one vote. North Adelaide, Tim Noonan, two votes. And North Adelaide, Scott Bamford, three votes. Eagles versus West Adelaide. Eagles, Hayden Robbins, one vote. West Adelaide, Anthony Bannock, two votes. And West Adelaide, Glenn Kilpatrick, three votes. In round 10, Central District versus Norwood. Norwood, Simon Cowan, one vote. Central District, Hugh Rymers, two votes. And Norwood, Gary McIntosh, three votes. Sturt versus West Adelaide. West Adelaide, Philip Morris, one vote. West Adelaide, Chris Barrett, two votes. And West Adelaide, Glenn Kilpatrick, three votes. Port Adelaide versus Glenelg. Port Adelaide, Robert West, one vote. Port Adelaide, Adrian Setry, two votes. And Port Adelaide, Darrell Borlace, three votes. North Adelaide versus Eagles. North Adelaide, Brody Atkinson, one vote. North Adelaide, Tim Noonan, two votes. And North Adelaide, Jay Viney, three votes. And that completes round 10. about it now but it was desperate at the time. Well the leaderboard after 10 rounds now and uh, gee it's been McIntosh and Kilpatrick hasn't it uh, picking up first votes in those rounds. Uh, Noonan of North Adelaide perhaps a surprise to be there and a dark horse at this stage. Rowe, Wind, Fogden, Bailey everybody on that screen is in with a chance and several others as we're only at the 10 round mark. Now early tonight Foundation SA trustee Kathy Nelson presented the 1995 Foundation Cup to the Central District Football Club. It's the first premiership for the Doggies, and I'm sure they'll be hoping to win another one this year to uh, accompany that one. So congratulations to Central District Football Club, and I know you'd like to uh, celebrate that, a great pre-season for them. Well, we're nearly halfway through the count now, so uh, how about a bit of half-time entertainment? Please welcome Greg Champion. Hi Keith, thanks. So I know you've been watching from over the border. Terrific season from Central District. Central District have really a TBBH, Keith. They, they have. It's TB... taken the ball by the horns. That's right, well played. So far, and so good. In fact, uh, Ted Whitten said this they have, in, a, in effect, S I U E yep. stuck it. Uh, them. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's right, thank you very much. Actually, I think I need a bit more experience than I've got in this game. Barmy, you ready for this one? I'm going to need you. Craig Barm is standing uh, by to see if he can translate for us. All right, the central need to know that it's uh, N O T O P S. Not over till the. Overweight person sings. <laughs> <laughs> Those were the days. I don't know if Barmy got that one. Let's try the leadership factor. 
Let's try Tim Perkins from North Adelaide. You ready, Tim? Central have been NSS, really. Yes, nothing, certainly, Tim. Nothing yeah. short, short of sensational. Thank you very much for that. Look, this all sounds a bit like the song that you've got. Yes, it's a it, classic. It's about the song Red Hot Go, and uh, I'm going to have a go at it. Yes. And uh, I'm going to give it an LP WXQZ XQZ. I wish you well. Thank you very much for that. PPYHT now for Greg Champion and a surprise. The lead choir. Oh, we were playing footy before the could have been in a red hill match against four form D. Oh, we were getting flogged. Things were pretty crook. I oh, went someone yelled out. Take a good hard look. There's some hidden talent there, and some of it's extremely well hidden. But Tim Jennifer, by the way, I mean, we know he's up for a McGarry possibility, but after that, a Grammy too. Definitely a nomination. <laughs> Time to find out how some of those players we just saw actually fared on the field, club by club. So over now to Stephen Trigan, Neville Roberts. Yes, I think they can stick to football. Let's have a look uh, mid-season, how were uh, your club top six uh, rating? The Doggies finished top for the season, and uh, Jimmy Wine, uh, a favourite. Overall, uh, doing pretty well in uh, in number one spot. Ingerson in uh, second spot. Played a lot for the Crows. Yes, a bit of a surprise to see Ingo up there. He's got some Crows duties coming up. Jason Ziller leading the way for the Eagles, but they're not getting many votes at the moment, Neville. No, and Glenelg, a wretched season. They didn't win many games. Rubenick and uh, Bailey share the way there. McGuinness uh, had a big season, top per possession getter overall. And Tim Noonan is out of the blocks and doing very well. A bit of a surprise in some quarters, possibly. And in Red Legs, Macca, uh, a favourite again. My tip, row right behind him, the man that runs in circles, right down to Cow, number four on the wing. And the Magpies, Daisy Borlase is doing well early, and uh, Robbie West, well, he came home with a, a blazing a bit of glory, but uh, just at the moment, not so good. Let's hope he gets recognised late in the season. South Adelaide, Cameron, with four, Polkinghorn and Osborne, Lamb, share third and fourth and fifth spot. And the Double Blues, John Richter in his last season for the club, ineligible but still leading the way. And overall, Kilpatrick leading the way in the count, Fogden right behind him. Jimmy White, how do you feel? It was your tip? Oh, I think he's EGC, every good chance. Oh, good. oh geez, get into the act. Before we count 11 to 15 votes, let's have a look at the action from those games. 
Rounds 11 to 15 and Port Adelaide had their familiar mid-season slump, only managing the one win against the Eagles in round 15. And the Eagles went one better with victories against Sturt and Glenelg. There were dark clouds over at the bay. They couldn't manage a single win. North Adelaide was still in winning form, picking up four victories for the rounds and Central improved their spot on the ladder with three wins. Nord were doing their own bit of improving, notching up four wins. West and South managed three wins each as they battled for fifth spot on the ladder. There were no wins to Sturt after round 15 and the ladder was Central Norwood, Port North, West, South and Glenelg, followed by the Eagles and Sturt. Now here's Max with the votes for rounds 11 to 15. Round 11, Port Adelaide versus North Adelaide. North Adelaide, Damien Squire, one vote. North Adelaide, Wayne Rosenboom, two votes. And Port Adelaide, Paul Northeast, three votes. Sturt versus South Adelaide. Sturt, Andrew Geddes, one vote. South Adelaide, Brendan Laid, two votes. And South Adelaide, Brenton Harris, three votes. Central District versus Eagles. Central District, Daniel Healy, one vote. Central District, Anthony Ingerson, two votes. Central District, Simon Lewis, three votes. Glenelg versus Norwood. Norwood, Paul McCormack, one vote. Norwood, Dale Fleming, two votes. And Norwood, Matthew Primus, three votes. In round 12, Central District versus North Adelaide. North Adelaide, Wayne Rosenboom, one vote. North Adelaide, Brodie Atkinson, two votes. Central District, Anthony Ingerson, three votes. West Adelaide versus South Adelaide. South Adelaide, Brendan Laid, one vote. West Adelaide, Eddie Hocking, two votes. West Adelaide, Scott Simister, three votes. Norwood versus Port Adelaide. Norwood, James Tyson, one vote. Norwood, Dale Fleming, two votes. And Norwood, Matthew Primus, three votes. Eagles versus Glenelg. Eagles, Hayden Robbins, one vote. Eagles, David Neiman, two votes. And Eagles, Adam Ugrenick, three votes. In round 13, Eagles versus Sturt. Eagles, Hayden Robbins, one vote. Eagles, Robert Nicosius, two votes. And Eagles, Adam Ugrenick, three votes. Glenelg versus Central District. Central District, Daniel Healy, one vote. Glenelg, Matthew Liptak, two votes. And Central District, Anthony Ingerson, three votes. West Adelaide versus Norwood. West Adelaide, Darren Wilden, one vote. West Adelaide, Paul Patterson, two votes. West Adelaide, Kieran Spawn, three votes. South Adelaide versus North Adelaide. South Adelaide, Gary Cameron, one vote. South Adelaide, John Polkinghorne, two votes. And South Adelaide, Jamie Lamb, three votes. In round 14, Sturt versus Norwood. Norwood, Anthony Harvey, one vote. Norwood, Dale Fleming, two votes. And Norwood, Matthew Primus, three votes. Central District versus Port Adelaide. Central District, Scott Stevens, one vote. Central District, Daniel Healy, two votes. Central District, Anthony Ingerson, three votes. West Adelaide versus North Adelaide. West Adelaide, Scott Simister, one vote. North Adelaide, Tim Perkins, two votes. And North Adelaide, Brenton Phillips, three votes. Eagles versus South Adelaide. Eagles, Ben Higgins, one vote. South Adelaide, Matthew Battams, two votes. And South Adelaide, Darren Trevina, three votes. In round 15, Glenelg versus West Adelaide. Glenelg, Tony Hall, one vote. West Adelaide, Scott Simister, two votes. West Adelaide, Kieran Spawn, three votes. 
Port Adelaide versus Eagles. Port Adelaide, Anthony Darcy, one vote. Port Adelaide, Troy Olsen, two votes. And Port Adelaide, Stephen Carter, three votes. North Adelaide versus Sturt. Sturt, Chris Redbold, one vote. North Adelaide, Tim Perkins, two votes. And Sturt, Scott Sutherland, three votes. South Adelaide versus Norwood. Norwood, Simon Cowell, one vote. Norwood, Jerry Dantoccia, two votes. And South Adelaide, Matthew Powell, three votes. And that completes round 15. Split splash, I was taking a bath. Long about a Saturday night. Yeah. Rubbed up, just relaxing in the tub. Thinking everything was all right. Well, I stepped out the tub, put my feet on the floor. I wrapped the towel around me and I opened the door. And in a split splash, I jumped back in the bath. Well, indeed, for some, for six sides, indeed, uh, it's the down the gurgler for this season. Plenty of chances in the McGarry medal, though. And uh, uh, just before we get to have a look at the leaderboard, uh, goals. They kick miracle goals. They kick impossible goals. They kick very timely goals. So here are some of them. The goals of 95. I'm scared. Oh, bang. Oh, and that is a fantastic piece of work. Pelé style. Across the face. Kept it in beautifully. Juniper's got hold of that! And put it through! Bunch of plus crowd beautifully by Allen. Straight through the big white ones. Well, he did well to get out of trouble. Now tries to crash through. Did he go too far? Just sheer commitment, courage and endeavour. And from 60 out with a wet ball, he gets it through the middle. Robbie Waterhouse, brilliantly done. Kick a goal, son. You'll bring the house down. You have, you are a star. Two goals. Comes back there with Green. Their battle's been tremendous. Well done by Green. What can he do with that? <laughs> Tell you what he can do. As he gets saluted by the crowd, he kicks another one. His second. very much and congratulations to Danny Del Rey 92 goals this season and so now to present the Ken Farmer medal for this year we're asking another McGarry medalist to come forward another Panther indeed we're talking about Mark Naley the 91 McGarry medalist here he is to present the Ken Farmer award to Danny Del Rey Terrific season for Danny Del Rey. He's obviously settled now. South Adelaide are enjoying his experience, uh, and uh, it's again a great year for him. Congratulations, Danny Del Rey, our medalist this year in the uh, goal getting the Ken Farmer Award. Well, it's perhaps appropriate now to mention the passing of Harold Dribbler Hawk, an old teammate of Ken Farmer's at North Adelaide. Harold won the McGeary Medal in 1937 after playing his first full season with the Roosters. Well now, before we get back to the count, let's have a look at that leaderboard and it has developed in a very interesting way, long way past halfway now, and it's Ingerson from Central Districts who's bolted, and then Kilpatrick and McIntosh, very close behind him really when it comes to the count with so many to go, Noonan, Spawn, Primus, Simister on the leaderboard at the moment. Now just before we go back to the count, let's check on the headlines for round 16 to 20. Round 16 to 20, and the informed teams were Central and the Red Leagues. They each claimed four victories, the Doggies' only loss being to Nord at the parade. South swapped places with West on the ladder, notching up three wins whilst the Bloods could only manage one. Port found some winning form again, claiming three scalps for the rounds, while Glenelg and North were both patchy and each could only manage the two wins. One win to the Eagles and none for Sturt. And after round 20, the ladder was Central, Norwood, Port, North and South, with West breathing down their necks, then Glenelg, Eagles and Sturt. Let's cross now to Max Bashir with the votes for round 16 to 20. Round 16, Central District versus West Adelaide. 
Central District, Scott Lee, one vote. Central District, Michael Wakeland, two votes. Central District, Hugh Rymers, three votes. Sturt versus Glenelg. Glenelg, Matthew Libtak, one vote. Glenelg, James West, two votes. Glenelg, Philip McGuinness, three votes. Eagles versus Norwood. Norwood, Gary McIntosh, one vote. Norwood, Matthew Primus, two votes. Norwood, Dale Fleming, three votes. South Adelaide versus Port Adelaide. Port Adelaide, Robert West, one vote. South Adelaide, Matthew Powell, two votes. And South Adelaide, John Polkinghorne, three votes. Round 17, Norwood versus North Adelaide. Norwood, Trevor Groudon, one vote. Norwood, Roger James, two votes. And Norwood, Stephen Rowe, three votes. Central District versus Sturt. Central District, Ricky McGowan, one vote. Central District, Jared Cotton, two votes. Central District, Tim Cook, three votes. Glenelg versus South Adelaide. South Adelaide, Tim Powell, one vote. South Adelaide, Greg Byrne, two votes. And South Adelaide, Matthew Powell, three votes. West Adelaide versus Port Adelaide. West Adelaide, Chris Barrett, one vote. Port Adelaide, Robert West, two votes. Port Adelaide, Tony Malakellis, three votes. In round 18, Eagles versus West Adelaide. Eagles, Adam Ubernick, one vote. West Adelaide, Darren Carlson, two votes. And Eagles, Andrew Pays, three votes. Central District versus South Adelaide. Central District, Jim Wine, one vote. Central District, Craig Potter, two votes. And Central District, Simon Lures, three votes. Port Adelaide versus Sturt. Port Adelaide, Eugene Warrior, one vote. Port Adelaide, Robert West, two votes. And Port Adelaide, Tony Malakellis, three votes. North Adelaide versus Glenelg. North Adelaide, Brody Atkinson, one vote. North Adelaide, Glenn Sanford, two votes. And North Adelaide, Benton Phillips, three votes. In round 19, Sturt versus West Adelaide. West Adelaide, Scott Simister, one vote. West Adelaide, Chris Barrett, two votes. West Adelaide, Glenn Kilpatrick, three votes. Glenelg versus Port Adelaide. Glenelg, Tony Hall, one vote. Glenelg, Philip McGuinness, two votes. Port Adelaide, Brett Chalmers, three votes. Norwood versus Central District. Central District, Ricky McGowan, one vote. Norwood, Jerry Dantoccia, two votes. Norwood, Gary McIntosh, three votes. Eagles versus North Adelaide. North Adelaide, Glenn Stanford, one vote. Eagles, Stuart Topham, two votes. North Adelaide, Nigel Allen, three votes. In round 20, Norwood versus Glenelg. Glenelg, Jim West, one vote. Norwood, Anthony Harvey, two votes. Glenelg, Dean Bailey, three votes. Port Adelaide versus North Adelaide. North Adelaide, Scott Bamford, one vote. Port Adelaide, Fabian Francis, two votes. Port Adelaide, Tony Malakellis, three votes. South Adelaide versus Sturt. Sturt, Timothy Wetherill, one vote. South Adelaide, John Pockinghorn, two votes. And South Adelaide, Danny Del Rey, three votes. Eagles versus Central District. Eagles, Andrew Pays, one vote. Central District, Roger Gurdham, two votes. And Central District, Ricky McGowan, three votes. That completes round 20.
of heroes and uh, Anthony Ingerson seemingly at the moment set to make a hero of himself. David, there are going to be a few experts with egg on their face if in fact Ingo gets up. Well, I think he'd be a very worthy winner, wouldn't he, the way he plays. Uh, he plays a good, hard, tough game and obviously he's caught the umpire's uh, eye and uh, he wouldn't uh, be a bad winner, let me say that. Well, let's have a look at the top seven after round 20, just five critical rounds to go. Ingo's on the top. But McIntosh and Kilpatrick are breathing down his throat. McIntosh uh, played pretty well in this uh, period of the season. He did rest for the final game of the year, so he won't pick up votes there. Kilpatrick had a cork thigh in the latter part of the season. May not pick up a lot of votes. And uh, you've got to say that Ingerson should be amongst it. Primus will pick up votes late. And I think it could uh, be... But have a look at Norwood. McIntosh, uh, Primus, Rowe, Fleming all taking votes from each other. And of course, uh, Robbie West came home with a rattle as well. Now there's five very important rounds to go, critical rounds. It's going to be one of the closest finishes for a long time. Let's recap the last five rounds. Rounds 21 to 25 and nothing was going to stop Port Adelaide. They powered on to win every game, securing third spot on the ladder. The Red Legs were equally awesome, winning three, as did Central, who claimed the minor premiership. The Eagles notched up two wins, Grinnell could only manage one, and Sturt finished a disastrous year, 22 losses, and not a single victory. The race for fifth spot ended in a thriller at Football Park in the last game of the year. Nord beat South and that allowed West Adelaide to claim a finals berth. Now for those crucial final votes, here's Max Bashir. Round 21, Port Adelaide versus Norwood. Norwood, Dale Fleming, one vote. Port Adelaide, Robert West, two votes. Port Adelaide, Tony Malakellis, three votes. Central District, Daniel Healy, one vote. Central District, Craig Potter, two votes. Central District, Peter Green, three votes. West Adelaide versus South Adelaide. South Adelaide, Andrew Osborne, one vote. West Adelaide, Chris Barrett, two votes. And West Adelaide, Scott Simister, three votes. Eagles versus Glenelg. Eagles, Wayne Wiedemann, one vote. Eagles, Michael Filippo, two votes. And Glenelg, Tony Hall, three votes. Round 22, Central District versus Glenelg. Central District, Craig Potter, one vote. Glenelg, Justin Scripps, two votes. Central District, Jim Wind, three votes. Sturt versus Eagles. Sturt, Simon Feast, one vote. Eagles, Rowan Thorne, two votes. And Eagles, Adam Ugrenick, three votes. Norwood versus West Adelaide. Norwood, Troy Clements, one vote. Norwood, Kim Russell, two votes. Norwood, Rodney Maynard, three votes. North Adelaide versus South Adelaide. North Adelaide, Peter Bennett, one vote. North Adelaide, Nigel Ab Allen, two votes. And North Adelaide, Brett Bansini, three votes. In round 23, Port Adelaide versus South Adelaide. Port Adelaide, Tim Geneva, one vote. Port Adelaide, Mark Tylor, two votes. Port Adelaide, Robert West, three votes. C Central District versus West Adelaide. Central District, Roger Gurdham, one vote. Central District, Michael Wakeland, two votes. And Central District, Jim Wine, three votes. Glenelg versus Sturt. Glenelg, Nicholas Chigwidden, one vote. Sturt, Bruce Lennon, two votes. Benel, Philip McGuinness, three votes. In round 24, North Adelaide versus West Adelaide. West Adelaide, Robin McKinnon, one vote. North Adelaide, Scott Bamford, two votes. 
North Adelaide, Daniel Grantham, three votes. Norwood versus Sturt. Norwood, Anthony Harvey, one vote. Norwood, Gary McIntosh, two votes. Norwood, Roger James, three votes. Port Adelaide versus Central District. Central District, Scott Lee, one vote. Port Adelaide, Anthony Darcy, two votes. And Port Adelaide, Darren Mead, three votes. South Adelaide versus Eagles. South Adelaide, Brenton Harris, one vote. South Adelaide, Simon Goodwin, two votes. And South Adelaide, Darrell Heath, three votes. In the last round, round 25, Norwood versus South Adelaide. Norwood, Stephen Rowe, one vote. Norwood, Trevor Groudon, two votes. South Adelaide, Brendan Lade, three votes. Sturt versus North Adelaide. Sturt, Simon Feast, one vote. North Adelaide, Scott Bamford, two votes. And North Adelaide, Josh Franku, three votes. West Adelaide versus Glenelg. West Adelaide, Greg Miller, one vote. West Adelaide, Glenn Kilpatrick, two votes. West Adelaide, Darrell Thomas, three votes. Eagles versus Port Adelaide. Port Adelaide, Robert West, one vote. Port Adelaide, Anthony Darcy, two votes. And Port Adelaide, Darren Mead, three votes. And that completes the county. This is extraordinary. The atmosphere in the room as we wait, uh, I don't have to remind you that this is an official count of the SANFL and now of all nights we must get the official count from the scrutineers and so we're going to have to wait so uh, just a little longer with the agony and very soon the ecstasy. I mean, we could be talking about history here because uh, covering all the ifs and buts I was looking up the SANFL rules today and Max, it's true, no longer a countback. No. An equal number of votes will result in a tie, and okay. uh, it's been officially declared that there is a tie in the 1995 Gary between Glenn Kilpatrick and Gary McIntyre. Can we please have the McGarry medalists for 1995, would they please come to the stage for the presentations tonight? Extraordinary. Glenn Kilpatrick from West Adelaide. Over from Essendon, a disappointing end for him in terms of his side, but a fantastic finish personally. And Matter himself, up for two in a row. Here they are. Mr Bashir. Ladies and gentlemen, on your behalf, I congratulate these two young men on making history. It's the first time in the history of the South Australian National Football League that two medals have been awarded in the one year, so that they go down as part of our history. But I'm sure that uh, you'd want me to express our congratulations to them. To you, Glenn, in your first year in South Australian football, we congratulate you and we hope that this will be sufficient encouragement for you to spend more time with West Adelaide and with South Australian football and all the very best in the future to you. Congratulations. <laughs> and Gary, last year you were here on crutches, this year you are here without the eight of them, but you've done a magnificent job once again for South Australian football. You're a true son of South Australia and a worthy representative of our league and a great McGarry medalist. Congratulations and the very best for the future. Well, we can... Uh, how are we going to do this? Age before beauty? I'm not too sure. Alphabetically, maybe they can both speak together. Fellas, are you going to toss for it? 
Gary McIntosh. Um, just like to uh, congratulate uh, Glenn on uh, winning the award as well. Um, thanks to all my teammates. Um, it's been great again this year. Still got uh, three weeks to go, so let's keep at it. Um, to Craigie and Johnny McGuinness, thanks very much for all your help again this year. Uh, to my folks, uh, to Zia and my family. Um, Wally Miller, Nurio Ferraro, thank you very much. And um, all the trainers at Nord again, thanks to uh, Big Al for keeping me on the track. Thank you. <laughs> Gary McIntosh. And now, Gwen Kilpatrick. Um, I'd just like to say congratulations to Gary McIntosh. Um, when I come over, I heard, I heard a little bit about him. Um, and to win two in a row, it's really a fantastic effort. Um, I'd just like to thank West Adelaide Football Club um, for giving me the opportunity to play. Um, all the fellows over there, they really uh, give me every chance to play good football. Chrissy Barrett and Anthony Bannock. They, they were the ones who gave me the handballs out and made me look good. Um, to our coach, Jeff Morris, and all the, uh, the administration, I'd like to thank them. They've done a tremendous job throughout the year. Unfortunately, we didn't make the finals. Um, I, personally, I'd like to be in Gary's position. Uh, to all the trainers um, and the people behind the, the, um, the scene, I'd just like to thank them. And I'd like to thank my girlfriend, Jackie, for all her support. Um, also, my family, and thanks very much. What's up? Well, what a, what a fantastic and exciting end to this year's count. Let's now also congratulate the runners up by G. They're just there, aren't they? Robbie West from Port Adelaide, Anthony Ingerson from Central District. Congratulations. And now for a, a wrap of our vote getters, the top vote getters tonight. Let's go back to Neville Roberts and Michael Ash. That's throwing the budget out. A couple of medals have got to print now, but uh, what a popular result. Absolutely. Uh, both players, exceptional seasons. And uh, let's have a look at uh, the club voting, the top six in each club. And uh, Glenn Kilpatrick, obviously, Gary McIntosh. This is the top three, obviously, as they finish. West and Ingerson are runners up. We'll move to the club vote, the top six in each club, Central District. Ingerson, Wine, Lewis McGowan, Wakeland and Stephen Squirt, always there. And the Eagles not having the best of seasons, but uh, they'll bounce back next year. The top two votes there, you couldn't get good performance in 10 and Hayden Robins with three. Down to Tigerland, McGuinness, the top position get a did well, right down to Jimmy West and uh, Tony Hall. And North Adelaide, McNoon and Son Tim, a great year with 10 and Scotty Banford with nine on the wing. Okay, Stephen Rowe and uh, Primus took a bit away, but Mackin still got there. And at Port Adelaide, Robbie West and Tony Miller Killis, great seasons with 16 and 15 respectively. Okay, in South Adelaide, Polkinghorne uh, did very, very well. Matthew Powell with eight. Stuart, unfortunately, without a win. Johnny Richter, the senior player there with three. Also, Scotty Sullivan with three. And at West Adelaide, Kilpatrick obviously had the way there with Simister with uh, a fantastic year with his goal kicking. Right down to uh, Thomas with three goals. Let's have a look at the aggregate from the clubs. And you can see how, uh, how your club fared. We can bring that up. Or we can look at Glenn Kilpatrick all night. But, uh, what a fantastic addition to South Australian football here. Is. There we go. Port Adelaide led the way with 98. Central in second spot. North third. North Adelaide on 76. And West Adelaide, not a bad result. Unfortunately, still with only 17. Thanks, Keith. Thanks very much. And uh, much excitement in the room. Now we're just arranging for the glasses to be brought up because now we want you, all of South Australia, to celebrate our winners of the McGarry Medal for 1995. Glenn Kilpatrick joining Grantley Filpy at West Adelaide, and Grant's here tonight, and we just, I know he's been delighted for his young compatriot, and of course, Gazza, Gary McIntosh, a second time winner. Max Bethia, please, a toast. Ladies and gentlemen, I ask you to charge your glass and drink the toast to the two McGarry medalists of 1995, Glenn Kilpatrick and Gary McIntosh. Yeah.